Hello everybody, Radio Guy 2021 here. Today I'm going to show you a video that I have no idea what the last time I made this kind of video. Today I'm going to show you my Weber Radio Collection video, and yes, most of my radios are dead because they're not charged. Of course. Um, I have, as of now, I have a total of 16, I think. Yeah, 16 Weber radios. Including, well, not including the Flower Station right here. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's start right over here first. This is my Radio Shack 519. Showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s. I believe I got this in the very beginning of April or the end of March. I have no clue. I can't remember when I got my radio. <laughs> Which is kind of a problem. But yeah. This one actually has AMF um But yeah. Next my Google Fox. Saying cloudy right now. And now we come over here to my Eton Zone Guard. Actually not charged, so I cannot play the weather. Yeah. Then if I play the weather, it just Uh, there we go. And that's fine. I got the, the same day I got the Radio Shack T Vic 2 down there, right there. But yeah. Um, has AMFM on the side with a little six prefect. Awesome radio. I got this, I think, in, in mid-March. March 16th. Yeah, around March 16th. And yeah, works perfectly. And next to that is a brand new radio that I actually got, um, I believe, last Thursday. It was the Midland ER50. It has AM, FM. Well, I'm actually monitoring Hondo. DBNG 600. Yeah, I got this last Thursday. But yeah. As well as another radio, I think. Okay. Backpack, I have no clue where it is. There it is. This one. This first watch one. It's not a not a weather radio, it's only an AM FM radio though. It only works when you have headphones in, unfortunately. But it still works and I still like it that way. And now we move over here to the radio desk table, whatever. Down there we have all the plugs. And yeah. This right here is my let's see what I gotta start right here. This mine. This one the one twenty works. I think this is the second or third radio I ever got. I think it was the second. The very first one I got with the middle HH right here. Don't mind that, I was just her neighbor's dog barking. Work perfectly. And it does activate for lots of alerts. Almost all of them that I had. Especially, oh wait, I didn't have this radio that on the last one one that we got yesterday. But yeah. Next to that is the Fan GMCO 100, also works perfectly. Uh. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I got the March 7th, as well as the WR400. Has AM, FM, of course. Has been activating for almost all the alerts. And yeah, works fine. Next over here, the 74 to 10. <laughs> That's copyright, hold on. I don't know why I have a horrible signal. Yeah, I don't know why. But I got this, I believe, a few weeks ago, the beginning of July. Today is August 3rd. So I think almost ha I had this for almost a month now. But yeah. 
next to oh wait i forgot um thing does have a disable warning function but i have all of them enabled so i know what the issue especially this and this and it The only one that I've seen is go one go off for was a flash flood warning about it in a weekly test. I think a weekly test or two. Okay. But yeah, works fine. And yeah, I have this one plugged in. <clears throat> Next to that is the um, Recon R1650D. Sounds not very good. I don't know why I keep making like a little noise at, while I was playing it. The rain chances diminish later in the week and towards the weekend while afternoon high temperatures begin to gradually creep back up. You hear that at the end? I have no idea what that is. And I have no idea how to fix that either. A quick alert test. No, the, this is a flash flood warning that I actually got the birthday of August because of a severe thunderstorm. That was actually two days ago. But yeah. Wednesday night. Have AMFM. Flight but yeah. Next to that is um, the only handheld I have uh, until I get the HH50, which I still have enough money for. But yeah. The HH54BB2, I think. Yep. But yeah, now the alert test works perfectly. Southeast winds five to ten miles per hour. And yeah, I actually got this is the first radio I ever got. I believe it was May of last year, the beginning of May of last year. I've had it for over a year now. But yeah, next to that is the. WR300, I think I got on July 2nd. The same day I got this one, the Hoon 4010. So that means I have this for about a, a, a little tiny, a little over a month now. All right, perfectly. Night, mostly clear before midnight, then becoming partly cloudy. Does have AM, FM. You can see the screen a little dim because the battery's running out. But yeah. Yeah, we got a, that was yesterday. We actually got a flash flood warning yesterday. Uh, I believe this was off of this channel. This one actually also got a flash flood warning yesterday, except it was issued on, caught this off a Hondo, the WND 600, which actually got issued at 4.50 in the morning, but I had this on this place, so I wasn't able to hear it. But yeah, nothing really happened in that flash flood warning. So uh, yeah, then we got the four radio down here. I'm gonna sit down a little bit on the chair, which is pretty small. Right here, the Muslim WR100. I got the, the, uh, the, about the day after I got another radio, which I actually, which actually broke. So I just decided to get rid of it. But yeah, it was the day after I got that one. And worked perfectly. Well, I would say it worked perfectly. The only thing it doesn't activate for alerts because every time I try hitting the weather function, it always just goes straight to constant baby noise. Like I'm pretty sure if most of you people experience that issue. But yeah. Other than that, it works fine. Um, I have no idea how that got there. But yeah. Oh, I found a scratch. Next, behind, next to that is the Radio Shack 262, Pulse 262. I actually got this the same day I got the Eton, which is up there. Um, actually has been working for alerts, which is fantastic. Sometimes the weather function does not like to work, though. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to work. 
Uh, on the back, you have your switches. But yeah. I'm hoping I can get that fixed someday. Same with that one, and then, as well as, uh, which one, what one was I looking at? Oh yeah, and the 400, because the 4 haven't had a speaker problem. But yeah. Awesome radio. Next to that is also another one of the new radios. If y'all seen that video, the required weekly test I got about two weeks ago. The reason why I didn't record last week we test because my phone was full on memory, so I wasn't able to record it. But yeah. Two weeks ago, the week we test before that one was when I had this one activating for it. As well as the HH. And it works perfectly. I just tried it out earlier and it works perfectly. Has AM, FM as well. These two don't. But yeah. Perfectly. For some reason, I have a, I have a struggle and problem with the antenna. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to put the antenna back in. And then once you already pick it out, it's kind of hard to put it back in. So I just leave it out like this. At an angle. But yeah. I got this, I think... I cannot remember. Oh yeah, I got it in the beginning, in mid-July. About a week after I got the 300 and the 7410. About a week after that. Or a couple weeks. But yeah. Next to that is the WR400. Which, yes, it has a speaker problem. I have no clue why. Most wr 400 don't have that problem. All of these I got from Amazon, except that the HH I got at Dollar General for about 20 bucks. Also, it's the last one. But yeah. Works perfectly. It still activates for alerts, even though the speaker's broken. But yeah. Still activates. <laughs> and yeah, I believe that is it. Okay, and then here are all the battery compartments for that. As well as the hanging thing for the 7410. And all the plugs are down here. I don't know why it's hard. There we go. Yes, I got lots of plugs. And yeah, that is about it. And I might make another video tomorrow of the weekly test if my phone does not run out of memory. Hopefully not. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. And yeah.